Hi YouTubies, welcome back to my channel and I always feel god damn it. What's up YouTubies? Welcome back to my channel and today we are going on a little adventure. I had a whole different idea planned for today's video but I started cleaning my garage and organizing just to film this video which was the transformation of a blazer into a two-piece set but I wasn't in the mood to actually film that and then when I was cleaning it I was just like I, I don't know I just can't film in this environment and I need to make something with my aesthetic my brother had decorated the garage years ago we just kept it like that we just never did anything with it and I just left it like that I was just like okay whatever I'm just filming behind my backdrop and then my backdrop just was too plain for me so I just came up with this idea to redo my garage so that's today's video we're redoing my garage my idea for this is to put magazine pictures all over the wall make it trendy tumblr I'm sure you guys have seen this before many times I'll like insert picture here and yeah I guess that's just my idea of going with this and yeah, we have to go to the pharmacy, run a few errands, and then uh, pick up some magazines while we're there too, and tape. I have some magazines at my house, but they're limited edition magazines, and I don't think I want to put that on my wall. I kind of want to just keep that forever kind of thing. Oh my god, I thought the car said there was no gas, and it was like funky. I'm in my brother's car because my car is blocked in. But once I had to pharmacy i literally live around the corner so it's gonna be like a two minute drive so i'll see you when we get there Bye. i made it to rite aid i'm looking for tape invisible tape yeah i think this would be good why is tape so expensive Yo, I don't know who fished me to be wear a okay, sweatsuit. It's like 75 degrees outside. It's fucking blazing. Okay, location number two, Walgreens. Hopefully, I don't die of heat exhaustion because it's. Thank you for not running me over. It just feels weird coming into stores nowadays. Just gotta be super careful what you're doing in here, you know? See, now this is what we're talking about. When I went into Rite Aid, they didn't have anything. Like, how do you have no magazines in stock? Like, that makes no sense. That's why you suck. No offense. Still will be Rite Aid. But still. Alright. Double XL. Do they have like no gold? Like, who reads magazines nowadays? I mean, like I know I do every once in a while when there's like a really good magazine out. But, like, who reads them? Who like actually takes the time to sit there and read? Comment down below if you do because that's what's up. Is Barnes and Nobles open? I mean, like books are essential in my case, but. Check if Barnes and Nobles is open because that'd be fun. Okay, so I'm leaving Walgreens. I only found one magazine that I would actually put on the wall, and I'll show you guys when I'm in the car. That is uh, this GQ magazine. Okay, I'm heading home. I got my smoothie. If you guys are ever in Red Bank, go to Fresh Guys. They have like the best smoothies ever. They're so fresh. And they're I'm back. I showered and I'm ready to film now. Like I mentioned in the car, the reason why I want to film this is because I'm not happy with the environment that I was filming in. I was filming with a white background and my garage door in the back. And I shared this garage with my brother, which has a home gym in it. But 
we both decided that, yeah, maybe let's change it up. So he's going to switch his gym to the other side. And then I'm going to switch my filming stuff to this side, which would be better for me because aesthetics. <laughs> So as you can see here, we have all the records at the top, which I think I'm going to keep. We have our flags. We're Puerto Rican and Jamaican, so that's why we have that there. And my brother has all his medals and just some random posters there, but I definitely want to take that all down. So my vision for this is to have a bunch of magazine pictures all over the wall, somewhat cohesive, but different styles that definitely portray what I embody. So I'm gonna be ripping out the pages of the magazines that I went out to go buy today and taking down what I don't want from these walls and just figuring out what I wanna do. I don't have a plan, I have an image in my head that I think I know what I want, but who knows, uh, while I'm doing this, I might have a different vision and just switch it up. Yeah, I guess let's just get started. So these are the magazines I have. I bought a Architecture's Digest. It has Drake on the cover of his Toronto home. Next, I bought this GQ magazine that has Kanye West on the front. And then it has like a whole bunch of different types of brands and styles that I definitely am drawn to so that's one thing i definitely want on the wall next i have this neiman marcus catalog book that i got back in november and yeah it just has like a whole bunch of different styles and brands that i love and then lastly i have this vogue magazine with billy eilish on the front of it i'm not 100 percent sure if i want to rip this up and put this on the wall but then again what else am i going to do with it so yeah now i'm going to go through all these magazines rip out the pictures that i want and then organize them within categories or colors i'm not too sure yet but my thought process will come along as i start doing something i think i'm going to take everything down first because it just makes more sense to have a blank canvas so i'm going to do that now and i'll talk to you guys when i'm done So I took everything down from the walls. I left the records up at top only because I feel like I can incorporate that with the magazine pages. So I left that up. Uh, the only thing I might change are some of the artwork that's up there. I might switch some of the record covers around to match whatever I'm gonna put on the wall. So now I'm gonna go to the magazines rip out the pages that I wanna put on the wall and then I'll meet you guys after. So I went through every magazine and I ripped out and sorted everything by color. So these are all my piles on the ground right now. This is my greens, my blues, my light tones, my bright tones, my black and whites. I don't remember what colors those are. And then those are my warm tones over there. So I think I have a good amount of ads to put onto the wall and now I'm gonna go do that.
this took longer than I expected, but I'm in love with how it came out. It's so bomb. I think it looks so cool, especially on camera. Oh my gosh. I'm just in love with the wall. I think it came out so good and I can't wait to take pictures and actually feel comfortable to film in my garage. I mean, does this even look like my garage? No, I don't think so. But it looks so cool. I'm still gonna add more things. I didn't finish this entire piece of the wall on this end only because I have plans on putting something else there. But I think this is a great background and although it was time consuming, it was so worth it. And I'm just in love with how it came out. I'm gonna show you guys an up close view of it. I was just so happy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this wall. It was so fun and super easy to do. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See you next week, guys.